just kind of starting to, at the end in the fourth quarter, just what um, as Cam is trying to set you up or, or whatever. How what did you see from him and, and your your reaction handle to, to poke the ball away? And get it going? Uh, just I mean just knowing personnel. You know I I think he's a obviously he, he's a scorer. You know you know he's going to attack to score and um, just watching him play. You know a lot of guys we know what direction they want to get to. So. Um, on that side of the floor, I knew he would probably try to get to his right hand. So I didn't want to jump too far that way because I know he would have went left. But I kind of played the right hand and sat down on that. And he started just getting downhill, you know, trying to attack. And um, a lot of times I'm able to get my hand on that ball, you know, at that angle. So once he started to attack, I kind of just took the contact, let him start his attack. And then I just slapped at the ball and, and I was able to get it. Um, I know you can't always control where you know, creating a loose ball goes, but how important was it to? be able to pick that one up and the one from Dennis to start a break and to get points in the I mean, I think it's, um, you know, lately the, the referees, you know, they've been calling the games a little bit differently. You know, a lot of stuff, the, the minimal contact plays, they haven't been calling a lot. So I think when you go on defense, on offense, you like, that was a foul. But on defense, you also know that you're going to probably not get away with fouls, but they're going to allow you to be a little more physical. So on both plays, you know, it was a, I was just kind of in my defensive position, and I just attacked the ball, you know, down the stretch. I think um, even with the change in how they've been refereeing games, they also usually let you play a little bit more down the stretch. And, um, you know, I think I just was able to get my hands on the ball both of those times, and um, those are the kind of plays you got to be able to make down the stretch to win a close game. Just how satisfying is it for you to get two big, not just to score the way you have, but get those two big steals down the stretch and kind of win with your defense as well? I mean, I think in my... In my career, you know, I haven't been known as a defender, but um, down the stretch of games, I've always been able to, to you know, have a moment or, or do what I needed to do at the end of a game defensively. And I think it's not always going to result in a steal. Uh, sometimes it might be, be uh, being a low man and helping somebody else out or just not allowing a guy that you know is going to attack to be the guy to do it and somebody else having to do it or whatever. But like I said, tonight it just happened to be these steals and um, when you on a team with this caliber, I think it's important to, for everybody to just do whatever you got to do for us to win because we don't we don't have anything else to play for other than to win. So, um, you know, I think it's going to happen in a lot of different ways. And tonight, that's just how it happened. As we've gotten to know, you, we've kind of talked. Uh, as we've gotten to know you, you've talked about how when good things happen, you tend to be pretty straight faced. Uh, after that and one, that was a yell, a flex. You you were really into it. What do you feel like kind of led to that? I mean, we just it was a close game, you know. And uh, obviously, we played last night. They had some momentum, and it just came down to who's going to make some plays, you know, offense and defense. And um, it was a timely play. You know, we was kind of tired a little bit, came up with a steal. As soon as I got the ball, I saw everybody sprinting out, you know, even though we was tired. And um, I hit Jay. Jay hit Giannis. You get an and one. Like, those are uh, the kind of plays that you want to you wanna see the team have at the end of a game, regardless of who we playing or anything else. And um, just winning plays. You get a, a stop, you pass it ahead. Jay could easily went in there and tried to do it, but he saw Giannis trailing, he hit him, and he get an and one. You know, and I think those are just the kind of plays that we got to have in any game, you know, down the stretch. So it's an exciting play. We were talking to AJ a little bit. Uh, it's not often that you have, you know, one dude that shoots from 30. You guys got like three. You, AJ, Brooke. Uh, just what has it been like to see kind of guys on your team have that same level of confidence that you do from so deep? It's been great. Um, you know, I, when they shoot the ball, I expect it to go in. I think that's the biggest difference, not just them having the ability to do it. I've been on a team where we've had guys that, you know, in practice and workouts, you see them shooting it and they can make it. But, you know, when it's, it's pressure on, you know, in the game, other team is on the run, um, not shooting the ball great to still shoot them and still be able to make them, make them when the team needs them. That's different. So to uh, be on the team with a couple guys that are able to do that at a, at a high rate, uh, you know, it's a it's comfort for me. Um, and it's, you know, it, it's a new thing, but it's something that I love about being on this team. Looking ahead to Sunday, you've got the Thunder coming in. They're young, they're fast, they're really good. Is there a mentality you think you and your teammates should have going against them? I think we just got to be ready for the challenge. You know, I think they present a lot on both sides of the ball. You know, they, they play fast offensively. They got a lot of guys who are a threat. 
Um, and then defensively, they get into you. They're physical. They got size. They got length. Um, they steal the ball a lot. Um, so it's important for us to be sharp offensively, but we got to challenge them defensively as well.